What is going on my dudes, One Step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Peacemaker in Mortal Kombat 1. Giving you tips and tricks on how to play Peacemaker, the best strategies you need to be using, and of course some fun and easy combos to get you started today. Let's get into it. As we get in there my dudes, go ahead and pause your screen right here because this is going to be the universal language that we use so that everybody who's watching can understand what we're saying. Peacemaker is an absolute blast and a great new addition as a guest character to Mortal Kombat 1, but he's got some pretty unique stuff. So let's go ahead and start off with the moves. I want you guys to know that Peacemaker Peacemaker does not have any lows or overheads with his strings, with his moves. He literally has none. He's got no. He's got great mids, and that's great. But the only low that he's got is his down forward to forward, the eagly low here. And that can be used for combo extension, yes. So he's got the one low, and the only overhead he's got is his teleport which has multiple uses, but an overhead is one of them. You can combo from that, yes, but again, the only overhead lows he's got is from specials, so you might want to use some cameos to cover that weakness. I recommend Scorpion for an overhead, or maybe Striker for the low overhead there, or even Chameleon has the Melina Ball Roll overhead. Now, because he's got no lows and overheads in a standard kit, you're going to be using a lot of baiting and punishing, so walking back, letting your opponent whiff, then going with your forward to four, which is a great reaching mid, and continue the combo from there. So, yeah, your best mids are your four to four one combo here because that can go into specials and you have your back two four as well that is also two mids and can go into specials so you got some really good stuff going for you even without the mix-up game a couple great normals you got is your sweep has got really good range and it doesn't really look like a sweep so it'll probably catch your point off guard quite often and your four to four again is a great reaching mid so you're gonna be using four a lot now when it comes to wake up options peacemaker has in my opinion two really good options of course we have the armored wake up option which is your torpedo which is back forward two torpedo. you enhance that it gains armor torpedo. and here's how it looks your next best wake up option is gonna be your back forward three, the Sonic Boom. Because even without enhancing, it's great for combo extension. And then if you do enhance it, you get awesome combo extension. And here's how that might look. Now the main strategies you can be really focusing on as a Peacemaker player is he's got a gun and that's great, but that doesn't really make him a zoner. Peacemaker is again, more or less a bait and punish character with great reaching mids. Think about it kind of like Scorpion, how Scorpion's more of a punish character as well. Got a lot of good stuff, but mixed game is not really one of them. A good strategy is use your forward down back three move here and that makes you projectile and vulnerable, which is great. It lasts about four seconds or so, but that can be great to allow you to your enhanced back forward one, your gunshot here and the reason why you want to do that as you saw there that is kind of a restand to our opponent and just stun them allowing us to continue the combo from there now whether you want to do your torpedo because that is full screen torpedo. or maybe your eagly which is down forward four eagly. however you want to handle it in whatever situation but again your back forward one enhance is a great option so make yourself projectile and vulnerable then go for it Another strategy with baiting your opponent in is make them jump in because you got a great anti-air back forward three sonic, sonic boom. Kill. That's a great anti-air. It's also mid hitting too, by the way. Sonic and look at that reach. Like, it's got really sonic good reach. Kill. And look how good it can be used for an anti-air. If you enhance it, So yeah, you got a really good anti-air. You got a great sweep. You can make yourself projectile and vulnerable, then go for the zone. You got a couple options here. Keep in mind, if you enhance your force field, it does make yourself projectile vulnerable, but also that beginning part when you're yellow actually reflects projectile, like this. So you kind of have Motaro cameo built into you, and then the projectile invincibility lasts about four seconds after that. Again, bait your opponent to zone you, reflect them, and then zone them back. Peacemaker does have a really unique move with down stance button. Eagly. As you can see, that calls an Eagly. What Eagly wants to do there is attack your opponent's cameo. So if your opponent is using a cameo that stays on screen for multiple seconds, kind of like Serena here, just go ahead and throw that out there like this. And then you're free to attack your opponent and Eagly still going attacking your opponent's cameo all while they cannot use their cameo. But keep in mind, if you do use that, of course you can't use Eagly, like you can't use down forward four. 
Eagly is kind of busy right now. Now let's go over a few notes you really want to keep in mind and tips with Peacemaker. We have our down back one, the blow dart move, and that is good for continuing combos. The decent anti-air if they jump into it. But the thing to note about it is you can actually hold it and then walk with it and let go whenever you want, or you can just press block and get out of it. So again, bait your opponent, psych, and then punish them. Peacemaker has a 2-2 two -two grab combo here, and that is great because it's the true restand. So if you're comboing your opponent and you do that combo at the end, it'll literally restand stand them giving you the pressure back like this you see that our opponent is now restanded now we can go for the mix we can go for the punish whatever we want to do the thing to note about that combo is the grab itself is a true grab if they're blocking it it'll actually grab them and that grab is an enhanced special cancelable so you can go into enhanced specials like your enhanced gun or your enhanced sonic boom like this or like this it's also fatal blow cancelable which is great and a very easy way to get into your fatal blow from ending a combo or just starting it out like this another thing to note is your fatal blow is a low hitting move which is great especially if your opponent's not expecting a low or you condition them to block high throughout the fatal blow if they're gonna call the grabs so you have two two grab here if they duck that grab like this, you are super punishable. So if they see that coming, they're gonna either jump or they're gonna duck like this. So if you're gonna call that they're gonna call you, you wanna go and end that combo with a four instead. So you got two, two, four. That's a pretty good hit to end it off and of course catch them off guard. Peacemaker does have a great teleport option with down back two. And that is an overhead. Now what's cool about this, you can hold back during it. And end in front of your opponent, hold forward and then end up behind your opponent like this. Or you can hold up and land right in front of them to continue your combo or grab them. Because what's likely gonna happen is they're gonna call that block and try to go for the up block. If you it's do that, grab. just land and then grab. Or land and then punish. Now, while you're falling down, so if you hold up during it, it's you're falling grab. down, you can actually attack while you're falling. Like, let's say you press four while you're falling. That looks like this. And that is an overhead and you can combo from that, like I said earlier. So kind of like this. It's a be careful though because if they do call it you're gonna get super punished in peacemakers move set your only real pop-up is your enhanced sonic boom your back forward three here that is a great pop-up allowing for air combos or ground combo extension you don't have any real string pop-ups so again this might be where you use cameos to extend that or allow pop-ups other ways like this I'm not saying that Peacemaker really relies on cameos, but cameos are a really big help, of course, to strengthen his weaknesses, like lack of mix-up and lack of pop-ups. Going back to the teleport, by the way, if you enhance it, it is a great getaway move. Let's say you're getting in there, you don't know what to do, but you want to get out of there instead. There you go. Full screen reset, projectile vulnerability, go for the zone, but also you can hold up from that enhancement and go for the normal teleport mix-up. So you might be like, I'm going to get away and then psych and then go for the punish there, or just simply go for the overhead whatever you want to do speaking of air combos as you can see with peacemaker we only really have two options we have one two two and we have two one two i'll tell you right now you're gonna be using two one two quite often that is your pop-up option you again continue combos one two two is great it does way more damage but it's more of a combo ender and here's how that looks so we have two one two combo extension or we can go one two two in the air like this I find you want to do 2-1-2 two, two first, continue the combo, then end with another air combo with 1-2-2, two, two, like this. Peacemaker is a pretty straightforward character. Nothing crazy going on, no crazy gimmicks, nothing. He's got getaway options, he's got zoning options, he's got projectile invincibility, he's got a teleport for an overhead, Eagly's good for a low, you got a command grab combo, which is great. You can stop your opponent's cami if you want to, if you time it right. But with that being said, let's go ahead and get into some fun and easy combos that you can learn today.
Eagle. Sonic Boom. Torpedo. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. Sonic Boom. After the fight. Sonic Boom. Torpedo. Sonic Boom. There's some beginner combos right there to get you started. But if you want a bit more advanced combos, check these out. You can do that same concept with Striker as well. You can also end that with the Fatal Blow. Guys, let me know down below what do you think of Peacemaker in Mortal Kombat 1? Do you like him? Do you hate him? And why? Subscribe here for more Mortal Kombat content and go ahead and click into these videos for more guides.